Welcome to Mommy and Miria's Kitchen. Today we are going to make beetroot. Um, we are going to make beetroot cutlet. Let's see what all the ingredients we need. We need ginger, garlic paste, um, potato that's um been boiled and uh, the skin's been taken out. Chopped onion, grated beetroot. Um, gram dal, gram fried gram dal. Fried gram dal, frozen peas, chili uh, coriander powder, um, fennel powder, and um, cool. cumin powder. These are all the ingredients we need to make beetroot cutlet and um, oil for frying. Put the pan and uh, then I put the oil and now it's heated. So we are going to put the ginger garlic paste and salt it. Salt it a little bit. Then put onion. And and it till it gets golden brown. I'm going to add beetroot uh, and nicely for two to three minutes until the raw smell goes out. We're going to add all the masalas and saute it for a minute to get all the flavor. Now add peas and cook for two to three minutes. I'm going to add mashed potato and cook it. Mix it well. And mix it well. I'm going to mix it nicely with a masher because it is now easy. Check the seasoning. I I check the seasoning and I need a, a little more salt. And we are going to add now two spoons of gram dal. Fried gram dal. Fried gram dal. And mix it well. And mix it well. And if you can see the consistency, it is tight, not watery. So that way we can make the cutlet. The mixture is ready. Let's turn off the now flame. Transferred into a different plate and wait and wait until it cools down. Then we can start shaping the cutlet. Add it to uh, two spoons of all-purpose flour and some water. It should be in this watery consistency to bind the cutlets and some simoli. Now it's cooled down, so I'm going to start making the cutlet. So roll the cutlet uh, masala like this into a ball, like this. Then flatten like this. Then start molding the edges um, like a circle, so it be like a circle. Once it's fully molded like this, um, coat it in the watery mixture then coat it in the thing, rava. the rava do this quickly you can also i'm going to show you how to make one more cutlet shape so first make a ball <coughs> like this make a round ball like this then push it down and start molding it like a circle. After you're done with that, put it in your um, soupy mixture, then put it in the rava. Quick, quick, quickly. Make sure it, Make sure it go, gets all coated and everything, every side. And this is how it should look like. You can sprinkle it on top and um, dust off the excess too. That's easy. This is how it should look like. I finished shaping all the cutlets, so now let's cook them. Now pour some oil onto the pan. Wait till it gets heated and make sure it's in the right consistency. Then slowly Put the cutlet on and start frying it. Oh, and put it, put the flame on medium. Slowly do it one by one, just like this. Cook each side until it gets golden brown. 
now. Flip it and check if it's golden brown. If it is, you can cook on the other side to be golden brown like this. Cutlets cooked well and both sides are golden brown. So we can switch off the flame and the cutlets are ready. The tasting time finally. It's a little hot but um, it's good enough for me to eat. Mmm! So good. Um. Um. So if if you don't like beetroot, you should really try this recipe. It's very good. It's crispy. It's um. It's crispy on the outside, and it's like um. What you've never tasted before. I love it. Uh, I hope you all like this recipe and give me the feedback. And until then, bye from Ria.